At first glance, this might seem a bit weird, but Venice can actually be reached by car, which comes in handy if you're stuck with a rental car or you just got your own. Venice is connected to the mainland via a bridge that is shared by rail, monorail and road traffic. This bridge is almost 4 kilometers long and has several fixed speed cameras on it. They may look a little bit rusty, but I can assure you that they do work. Now that we have passed the bridge, the question is where to park. By looking at the map, Autorimessa Comunale might seem as the best option since it is closest to the old town of Venice. But here are the issues. First, let's set aside that it costs 35 euros per day and that there are no hourly rates. Everything is expensive in Venice, so why should parking be any different? The parking spaces on the roof look like they were molded after Fiat Cinquecento. But this isn't the biggest issue either. The by far biggest issue, in my humble opinion, is that you can only park on the roof of the building if you want to lock your car and bring the keys with you. I was told that on every other level, I would have to leave the car unlocked and leave the key with the employee that approached me. This to me is unacceptable, because if anything happens, Good luck explaining that to your insurance company, that you left the car unlocked and that you also left the key with an alleged employee that happened to look like one of the pirates of the Black Pearl. And by the way, there is a limited number of parking spaces on the roof, so what happens if you are not there early? Until this policy changes, this car park should be avoided in my opinion. To me, a better alternative is Trunchetto Car Park, which is a huge multi-level car park built on an artificial island. To reach this car park, just turn right as soon as you cross the bridge and follow the signs. It's easy. The price is currently 25 euros per day. After you have parked your car and exited the building, you have two options. One is to take the People Mover, which is an elevated rail shuttle, to Piazzale Roma, the same position as if you had parked at Autorimessa Comunale. The current price for the People Mover is 1.5 euros per person for a one-way ticket. From Piazzale Roma, there is a long walk ahead to Piazza San Marco, the epicenter of Venice. The walk will take you approximately 40 minutes and is just under 3 kilometers long. Another alternative is to take the Vaporetto No. 2, a water bus, from Tronchetto Station to San Zaccaria, where you can get off in order to reach Piazza San Marco. Tickets you can buy directly in the booth in front of Tronchetto Station, and they currently cost 9.5 euros for a one-way ticket per person. This ride is a nice way to see parts of Venice from a different perspective. Keep in mind that furry travel companions have to have a muzzle in order to get onto Vaporetto, even if they are as dangerous as these small ones. After you are done strolling around Venice, you do not have to go back to San Zaccaria in order to catch the Vaporetto back to Tronchetto. You can simply catch the same number 2 Vaporetto at Rialto station and ride back to Tronchetto. If you are staying in the northern part of the Adriatic Riviera, then your best option is probably to drive to Punta Sabioni where you can park for as little as 5 euros a day and then take the Vaporetto number 14 to San Marco or use some other boat shuttle service. Last but not least, if you wish to avoid the hustle of parking, there is an affordable alternative. There is a camping village on the mainland of Venice that offers decent accommodation, free parking and a paid shuttle to Piazzale Roma in Venice. The current price of the shuttle is 7 euros per person round trip. If you found this somewhat useful, please like, share and subscribe.